Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to connect, uh, how to mirror from my uh, Galaxy S4 uh, regarding for using my DJI Phantom 3 standard with my remote control and I will show you how. First of all, you have to download an application. It's called uh, Mirror Op. Mm, Mirror Op. Okay. This is the uh, the application. And as we know, as I know that the, my Galaxy 10.1 Note cannot be used for DJI. So uh, I made some ex experiment uh, how I can mirror from my DJI Go to my Galaxy Note 10.1 so here I what here's how I do how, how I did that I first uh, turn on the uh, remote and then turn on the I'm sorry I forgot my battery wait a second Okay, I'm back. And turn on the aircraft. First, I have to remove the uh, the camera protector and gimbal's protector before it turn on, so it won't be overload when it start. Okay, it's turned on now. Let's see, let's wait for this remote being connected. It's not yet. It's not yet. Okay, screen now. First step, I have to connect my Galaxy S4 to my drone to my pen pandem 3 standard okay it's connected and make sure that there is no background there is no uh, background application one it's empty so I can just run the uh, DJI go skip Okay, here's the camera. You can see it. Camera. Waiting to be connected. Okay. It's connected now. And now, how to mirror this? Uh, display to my Galaxy Note. So at this point, I want to show other my friend using this, so they can bring it everywhere without in, in the, uh, without uh, disturbing me while I'm flying my drone. So this idea comes from that. Okay, first you have to turn on. Okay. And here, I also install here, but in in my note, I'm I have to run the mirror op receiver. This mirror op receiver, I make sure it's run, and also make sure it's connected to the phantom. Okay, so <coughs> this is the more important point is. Uh, now, the Phantom is the AP uh, access point. So the Phantom is now 
being the access point for these two devices. Okay, it's standby now. It's, it, it's ready to receive the picture. And from this, it's, it's still connected. I'm moving my drone like this. Okay? So all you can see that it's still connected. And don't worry to go out from this DJI Go and run the mirror up sender. It will looking for the other mirror app receiver in one network. Okay. No receiver found. Oh, I think I, I haven't connect my note to the uh, Wi-Fi. Wait a second, please. I have to connect this to the uh, Phantom also. Okay. Attending. Now connected. So now my Galaxy S4 is connected to the drone. My uh, Note 10.1 connected to the drone, and the drone is becoming access point. As you can see this, so I can go back, and I will get uh, reset the uh, mirror operator receiver. Okay, continue. I got the uh, IP address. And then back to the galaxy no detected but we can refresh this by pull down and let it go up go up it's still searching meanwhile the uh, DJI go still connected from this s4 okay it's the this is my note I'm going to connect to the not here and just click play okay i will show you i hope you can see my hands is only two uh, so i'm I click this so it's mirroring right and then i'm going to home like that it's going home too but don't forget there is an option when you when you when the first time you connect to this uh, devices there is an option here and you should check your remote control I'm sorry you should check the remote control here so there is an option oh you cannot see this right yes yeah, over contrast so the option is disable or enable remote control it's mean that if I disable if I choose disable any touch in the screen will not affect it to this s4 but if I choose enable then any touch on the screen will be affected also to the screen so I will disable because you know yeah it's very dangerous right okay it's still connected and I'm going back to my DJI there you go same yeah the same picture here and, oh, and when I move my drone you can see the change yeah it, it is delayed but it's it's okay I think it's okay for being delayed but I can now have a second I have a second monitor now I have second monitor for my drone so I can drive and monitor with this with my s4 and meanwhile this note it's not accessible right it's not accessible so you cannot do anything just you just can just see and watch what is on the camera so I can give this to my friend to my client to everyone so they can watch whoa whoa but that cannot touch anything just they can watch and monitor what happened just like on this screen so now 
uh, I will I had try this uh, on the field and uh, it's not affecting to my uh, drone range the range is still um, normal I, I can fly my drone about um, one kilometer with some pads or maybe 500 meters the home point meter. has been updated please check it on the map shut up okay so I, I have tried this and I'm I, I, I'm driving I'm flying my drone meanwhile my friend bring this far away from me it's about um, more than 100 meter and it's still working still working so everyone who bring this moni second monitor in the range about more than 100 meter from me they can still watch what I what I do on the sky okay uh, maybe I will show you the uh, video about the range between this two device or maybe between these two device later okay but you now you can have two display and with the mirror app, mirror up actually you can have more than two extra display but I haven't tried that one is enough for me I can put this everywhere I can put this on the blackboard Okay guys, that's all. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like. Thank you.